Ever since glass was first invented in ancient Egypt, artists have been using it as a painting surface. The Romans were the first to make clear glass, and centuries later, a vitreous paint was invented, one that could be permanently baked onto the glass. Minute details such as facial features, hair, drapery, and words became possible. By the time of the Renaissance, painted glass windows were an important means of communicating stories and historical events to a largely illiterate audience. A translucent painting lit from behind is just as unforgettable today as it was centuries ago. Rather than using fragile glass or vitreous paint, allow me to demonstrate a means of creating transparent paintings with acrylics. These little gems are designed to hang either in a window or near a light source. They cast a colorful shadow and glow as the light passes through them. These aren't painted on a transparent surface, these are the transparent surface. I call them light catching rings. This is a non-glare sheet protector. It's available at any office supply store. It's inexpensive and transparent with a very smooth, glossy surface. Not the type of surface you'd normally use for painting, right? As you can well imagine, the paint just wants to peel right off of this. Well, in this case, that's just what we want it to do. First, we need a frame. A gold tone welded macrame hoop is very pretty and it's ready to use. You could also use a canning ring or a rigid O-ring from the hardware store, but a very simple and inexpensive way to make a frame is with natural reed. You know, the kind that you use for basket weaving. Just take a section like this, apply a little wood glue to one end, join both ends like so, and either with a paper clip, a binder clip, or in this case, I've got a clothespin. Just join it together like that and set aside to dry. Once it dries, it can be painted or it can be left natural. Now, trace around the hoop on a sheet of paper with just a pencil like this. And then create a sketch on the inside. Here's one I already have completed. Take the sketch and slide it into the sheet protector. And then you'll need a rigid piece of cardboard or mat board or foam board, something on the rigid side. Just slide it in behind, just kind of as a backer like that. For best results, make sure that the plastic is clean and free of oils. You can use a little rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball to clean it if you'd like. So now I'm going to create a little painting right here on the surface using Blick Acrylic Student Acrylics. Now you could use tube color acrylics, but from my experience, they want to adhere to the surface a lot more than Blick Acrylics do. And we want this to be able to peel right off. So I would recommend using a student grade of acrylics, such as our Blick Acrylic. Now some of these colors are going to be a little more transparent than others. And if you wanted to, you could do a second coat just to uh, have better coverage, but that's also going to make it a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to just choose to do one coat. Sometimes you might see the paint is a little wet or reacting to something on the surface and it will crawl a little bit. It'll kind of want to scoot away from the plastic. I don't see that happening today, but if that happens, just load your brush up with a little bit more paint and keep on applying it. All right, now I'm going to set this painting aside to dry. Usually it just takes a few minutes, really. It doesn't take long. Depends on how much paint you actually put on this. Here's one that's completely dry. And now I will take the ring and place it right over the painting like this. And I'm going to apply some gloss, acrylic gloss medium. This is the Blick Acrylic Gloss Medium. And spread it around the painting, covering it. Now this looks like it's going to be white, but it will dry clear. Now you notice that I am bringing this right up to the ring, right against it, and 
actually I'm overlapping it and bringing it right on top of it. I want to make sure that I have a good connection to the frame and that way it will pull the painting right off with it. Smooth it out. Now as an option you could use a pouring medium and then you won't have to have all these brush strokes that you're seeing in here. Now I'll set this aside to dry. This will take quite a while, probably overnight. The next day, once it's completely dry, it looks like this. See, it's nice and transparent again. A second coat of medium could be applied and dried if you'd like. The more medium that you use, the stronger it's going to be. But I'm just going to take this one off the sheet right now. You'll notice it pulled up all of the edges too, all of the paint that was overlapping. That's easy enough to take care of. Just take some scissors and trim that away. Now to create a hanger for this, I have a needle and a piece of string. And I'm just going to right up underneath the ring. I'm going to poke through the medium like that. Pull it through, leaving just a little bit here at the end to tie in a knot, and that will give me a string to hang it by. Give it a double knot. Just a couple of options that I'd like to share with you before I finish. An aluminum sculpture wire could be used in place of the ring. The finished piece will be very flexible, like this little flower I created here. Additions such as glitter, tissue paper, string, or natural pieces like leaves can be included in this as well. Just make sure to seal them between layers of medium. I hope you enjoy making your own painted light catching rings. You'll find complete instructions and materials at dickblick.com. Thanks for joining me.